Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to take a minute and share with you for a few minutes today, uh, the seller scams. We have a previous video, which I will link above uh, at the end of this video for you guys to see, but it's still going on. And the scary part about these seller scams is that if, if it wasn't working, then it wouldn't actually be happening. Does that make sense? So here's the deal. Um, I wanted to share with you the details. So last night I received another email. This seems to happen reasonably frequently. Let me put that, pull that up here for you guys so you can actually see the email and how good these guys are. Um, and it starts off right here, real estate agent needed, right? And uh, as you can see, he's talking about he, she, whoever, they're talking about um, Mr. Henry Chang is reaching out. And he has three pieces of land that he wants me to list and sell for him. And here are the addresses. So having been through this before, you know, it smelled kind of fishy. So I figured, well, let me double check. You never know. And I said, hey, would be happy to help, right? So now he responds, or he, she, whoever. Um, and I had also, there was a separate thread because we kind of had two threads going. I had said, hey, what's your, what's your phone number? Um, so the response is, hi, Robert, thank you for your email. Before I would jump onto a phone call with you, uh, I want you to know that the property is up for urgent sale because I am in urgent need of cash for selling accumulated settling accumulated medical bills due to my health challenges is I need funds to conduct a major surgery operation at this time. Be aware, I have lost the deed. <laughs> lost the deed, of course, uh, including the survey documents, which I used to purchase the property, gets better, in a fire accident when a fire engulfed my home last year. I did lose a lot of valuables that very year and till date, I'm still suffering the setback from the fire incident. It's actually pretty well written. Um, I still think it's a scam. So I would like to recommend you to first visit the county or township in person to enable you to do your due diligence to ascertain, big word coming from overseas guys, ascertain uh, the necessary information you would need to be able to list and sell the lot. Then upon your return, we can discuss further. Thank you very much for your understanding as I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards. Very nice. Um, he followed up with me again overnight because I hadn't responded right away. Clearly there's a time difference here from wherever this is coming from. Um, and again, I asked for his phone number. Uh, sounds good, Henry, what's your phone number? Um, he actually does give me a phone number, if you can see at the end of this email right here. Um, thank you for your email. My phone number is below. I want you to know that I'm originally a Canadian citizen and an absentee owner, although I live in California with Cow. I'll tell you who Cow is in a second here, guys. Um, as at the time I purchased the property, uh, I do not have U.S. citizenship, nor do I hold a U.S. long-term permanent resident visa, blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of detail here. Um, he's currently in London, England. Um, I've seen that before, uh, where he resides due to the health challenge and he's re receiving medical attention, uh, going to be closing from here through the American consulate here in London. So in the meantime, here is my address in Canada that got burned down. So I can actually send mail to Canada to an address that exists, but the house doesn't. And Apparently the seller doesn't live there either. Uh, and, um, but that's what appears on his Ontario state driver's license for the listing agreement. So this is a pretty sophisticated scammer. We have been through this before on our team. Uh, they know exactly what they're doing here when they're trying to scam land sales. So I took this to another level and I want to share this with you too. And I'm like, well, who's Cal? What's the story here, right? So um, I looked up the land. I wanted to see, you know, I'm pretty familiar with the area. I want to see where does this land exist? So we're going to pull that up right here. 
because he gave me the addresses. So now, as you guys can see, we have the public records for the address or addresses in question. He had said uh, 1801, I think 1805 and 1809 Crescent Road. And lo and behold, the owner of record, Henry and Cao Chang, if we go back to the email, this is gets interesting too. We're going to show you this. Uh, so it's crazy that you have to be a sleuth here, you know. Um, we're going to pull that email back up. And here we go. Here comes the email. Notice this, guys. I think this is a clue. So there's Henry Chang, right? But here, notice the email address, message mex5 at gmail.com. So another clue that something's probably not right. So we, uh, we had an incident uh, in this other video that, again, I'll link above for you guys at the end of this. We had an incident a while back, or actually early, just earlier this year, where we sold a piece of land and it was a victim of exactly this type of scam and they totally got it got away with it and it's even more concerning because on the buyer side there was actually an attorney involved in addition to the title company being involved in addition to having a notary stamp from the consulate uh, all that stuff and what we learned from this was that the scammers are really really good um, they they know exactly what they're doing they have apparently a few different um, notary names that they seem to commonly use. They are legitimate U.S. notary names. But how, how difficult is it to forge um, notarizing something? Let's think about that. It's really not a complicated process. And um, we were talking with one of our title partners about this and the concept recently and we were also made aware that they were involved in a very big one of these scams also within the last year or so uh in another state so there is a lot of this going on if you are a real estate agent and you're getting these emails please be super careful we um before we were well educated on what was actually happening we almost got caught in another one if you can believe it we had a property listed for sale took a little while or land. It's always land, always land. We had land listed for sale. It took a while to find a buyer. We found a buyer for it. Um, we were in the process of having contracts signed. They were signed by the buyer, not by the seller. And then the seller got real quiet. And Mason, who was handling that one, was having trouble getting in touch with the seller. And just thinking about this stuff, it, it we kind of snipped it out. And sure enough, with a little help from Google, we tracked down the rightful owner, rightful local owner. Uh, and Mason spoke with him and he said, I'm not selling my property. I don't even know what you're talking about, but thanks for the call. So unfortunately, as the scammers get smarter, the real estate industry has to put more fail safes in place, including sending letters out to owners of record, making sure that the owners of record follow up and respond back accordingly. Um, all this kind of stuff that uh, as double checks and triple checks, it's crazy out there. But I guess as long as there is real estate, there will be scammers. So thank you guys for watching. If you are looking for a real estate agent in this Southern New Jersey area, please reach out to us. Our contact information is below. If you're reaching out, if you're looking for a real estate agent outside the South Jersey area, reach out to us anyway. We have a very powerful network throughout the United States, and we'd be happy to make an introduction to like-minded professionals. Please like this video, subscribe to this video, and share this video. It will really help us grow the channel. Have an awesome day.